The Colossi of Memnon are two massive stone statues of the Pharaoh Amenhotep III, which stand at the front of the ruined mortuary temple of Amenhotep III. This is the largest temple in the Theban necropolis. Starting uh, from 1350 BC, from that time up to now, they have been standing here. And even ancient Greeks and Romans knew them. Also early modern travelers and Egyptologists. The interesting thing is that the statutes have 107 Roman era inscriptions in Greek and Latin dated between uh, 20 to 250 Anno Domani. Here I'm, we are just driving to see, we just uh, drove past those uh, Colossi map and now we, I'm just showing you the area before we, I go back and show you. You said there are many, you see that regarding the temple and the surrounding area, you see that how much archaeological information is in Egypt. It is unbelievable. It's, you just need to be there um, to understand that. Scholars have debated how the identification of the Northern Colossus as Memnon is associated with the Greek name for the entire Theban necropolis as the Memnonium. You see that here then again, lots of excavations are still being conducted there. Egypt is just so much history there, it's unbelievable. Lots of temples here, as you can see it here. Look at how large the whole area is with lots of archaeological sites. This is simply unbelievable. Back to Colossae. So the twin statues depict Amenhotep, as I said, Amenhotep III, 14th century BC, in a seated position. So you see that his hands are resting on his knees and his gaze face eastwards towards the river. There are also some shorter figures. These are carved into the front throne alongside his legs. These are his wife, Taye or Tie, and mother, Mutemwia. The statues are made from blocks of quartzite sandstone which was queried at El Gabal El Ahmar, close to Cairo. So they were transported 675 kilometers overland to Thebes, meaning Luxor. Sadly, both statues are quite damaged. with the features above the waist uh, virtually unrecognizable.
but still very, very impressive. Regarding the function, the original function of the Colossi was to stand guard at the entrance to Amenhotep's memorial temple or mortuary temple. So it was a massive construct built during the Pharaoh's long time, where he was worshipped as a god on earth, both before and after his departure from this world. So it's really, really fascinating. 